that's here to sign the people's petition. There was a physical, a physical impact on me. Like I literally got sick, like it was a blow in my stomach and got queasy and angry and sad and all of it at the same time. And I just, I sat in the dark for a minute in my cell and just tried to process. Like, wow, it's 2020 and is it still happening? It was surreal. You know, one of the first stops I made was 238th in Chicago. We're just one arm that is out here trying to create change and get away from a system that is clearly not working in our best interest. Hey, stop! This is police brutality, bro. Stop, stop, step back, gang, step back. Hey, stop, why did you hit him? Our community has endured a great deal of trauma and pain and stress and frustration and anger. There was so much turmoil last summer, but it was a long time in the making. We had been letting city officials know that things were reaching a boiling point. It literally took the third precinct being set on fire and buildings burning for them to begin to take seriously the major concerns that our city had been experiencing with regard to Minneapolis police being out of control. The fact that this became a global uprising was incredible. To have tens of millions of people watching the bystander video and started pushing for change within their local jurisdictions. C'est ça la réalité. Aujourd'hui en France, on est tous des Georges Floyd potentiels. It's devastating and you know, it, it hurts, it causes pain. So it's like, you know, you try to be strong for our people. And so much of it is going on and you know, you just want justice. If there is an acquittal of Derek Chauvin, we can expect to see a similar uprising as what we saw last summer.